Well, divorce is never easy, but being prepared can help. Live at Five's family attorney Sonia Kaufman joins us now with some signs to look for if you think your spouse is cheating. And this is probably a pretty controversial subject, but something that we should talk about because I'm sure you're confronted with it as an attorney. Some people do have that intuition. I think my spouse is cheating. If you think your spouse is cheating, they probably are. I'd agree with that. And really? private investigators will say that always. If you think so, it's probably true. But there are some telltale signs for those people that want to know. Mm -hmm. The first by far is the way your spouse handles their cell phone. If your spouse suddenly starts guarding the cell phone, not, not leaving it lying around the house or changing the password, that's a big sign as is a change in the billing records for the cell phone. If your spouse suddenly changes the password that denies you the access to see the detailed billing, mm -hmm. that can be an issue because obviously frequent phone calls or texts to an unknown number can be a dead giveaway. Right. What are some of the other dead giveaways? What if your spouse changes their appearance? That's a big one. We, we hear that. Some people call it midlife crisis. Mm -hmm. But if your spouse all of a sudden seems interested in getting fit, working out, cosmetic surgery, cosmetic Even if that happens dentistry. in January, would that just kind of be Maybe not so irony? much. But yeah, maybe not so much. But overall, a new wardrobe, changing the hairstyle without talking to the other spouse and I hear people say looking back on it he or she started behaving and dressing differently another one is spending extra time on the computer or the cell phone because as we all know social media has had a big impact on families and on marriages and with friending someone on Facebook it makes it very easy to reconnect with an old flame now we talk about social media is it a good idea to have an account set up with your spouse or do you keep those separate? People do it both ways. I believe that if you have nothing to hide, accountability is a big factor. At my house, we all use the same password for everything and I don't know where my cell phone is half the time. So <laughs> that's the difference, I think, when somebody's transparent versus trying to hide something. All right, well, I think this was an important issue, so we didn't get to any of our viewers' questions, but we'll get to those next time you come. Thank you for having if me. If you have any questions, obviously, what you need to do is post those questions on our KFDM News Facebook page, or you can email them to us at laf at kfdm.com. Thanks, Sonia.